grab your nuts and bark. Shout out to maybe lay. Leah. So I'm just giving her a shout out. Fair use. I love your content, girl. God damn. So let's get to it. The title of this, ladies and gentlemen, this is just a reaction video once again. <laughs> is my, this is quotes now. My family rented out dogs for hunting black people. White woman exposes sundown towns. Now, this is the title of this video, so we're going to get right to what the birds talk about. Now, this is the Caucasian lady. Now, who else knows? You know how it is in North America. We don't believe shit unless somebody Caucasian says it. Now, this is a woman who knows her family. I don't, I ain't see this part. I click. I clicked all past this. It don't matter about the goddamn sundown town. Look that up on your own time. I'm talking about the goddamn hunting dogs. Hunting dogs. Black. Oh, yeah, here she go. I love her. You know why I love her? Because she didn't have to tell you the truth. This has been going on for a long time now, okay? Okay. She didn't have to tell you the truth. She didn't have to. See? See? The truth. Ain't nothing sexier than the truth. It makes your spirit glow. Now look at her. She been stressed though. It was probably the ancestors was torturing her ass. That's why she had to tell the truth. But still, <laughs> she telling the truth. So let's listen. <laughs> I'm going to have to be careful how I word this so that I don't get in trouble, but I think it needs to be said because I am sick and tired of hearing people say that people of color just need to get over it already. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. That is so dismissive, ain't it? Motherfuckers don't say shit about it. <laughs> Bitch, get over that. See, didn't nobody tell you to walk around with your ass out in the middle of the night in a dark alley at four in the morning? What the fuck? Because it was so long ago. No, the f it wasn't. My father remembers his father raising hunting dogs. God damn, her father. She look like she got a little gray hair, don't she? She look uh, uh, 35 plus, let's say. And I'm being generous. But 35 plus, she looked like her hair starting to turn gray. She said, her father's father. Okay. Okay. And he would rent out on the weekend for hunting parties. Well, these weren't regular hunting parties. These big bubbles would set up these almost lemonade type stands. <laughs> she said these big bubbles. I'm going to borrow that from now on because that tells you everything you want to know. That shit sounded like ding, 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 ding. was a dime and a nickel and shit like that. 25, 50 cent. Mm. Hunting licenses. And everyone who license. That implies it was completely legal <laughs> by the municipality. God damn. I'm reading a book called The Delectable Negro. This book details how Caucasians used to eat niggas. But that one during the week, they would Man, oh shit! I just connected dots. That's why they used to hunt them. Don't they hunt deer? Oh shit! Do -do 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 -do. And on the weekend with other trucks, and they would round up as many people of color in the surrounding areas as they could find, turn them loose in the woods, and set the dogs after them. God damn. See, now that's why we don't give a fuck about dogs. 
I mean, we love our dogs, but we don't love dogs the way Caucasians love dogs. You, 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 y'all got a different type of love for dogs. Y'all got a love for dogs y'all don't have for us. Damn, man, can't you hear it? <laughs> can't you hear that time? <laughs> Off in the distance, you just running for you. <laughs> You just running for your life. You don't even know what the fuck going on. They rounded up, Nick. See? Woo! But they're like, what do you mean my reparations? Let's hear the Caucasian lady talk about her family, shall we? There are people alive today whose family were hunted down in the woods by dogs. Damn. Can we get a motherfucking moment of silence? See, this is the reality. This is the shit that they don't want to teach in school, see. I'm not saying, uh, say anybody was bad. Just teach history in its entirety. We're going to take this back and hear what she said. That shit hurt my heart. Police in the woods and set the dogs. They were, these big bubbles would set up these almost lemonade type stands during the week and sell these little cards for like, I don't know, a nickel, 25 cents. They were person of color hunting licenses and everyone who brought one during the week they would gather together on the weekend with other trucks and they would round up as many people of color in the surrounding areas as they could find turn them loose in the woods and set the dogs after them there are people a lot there are people alive i have today whose family were hunted down in the woods by dogs and they raised their children to have a well-earned distrust of white people and of police officers. Because I guarantee you, any of the police officers that weren't wearing the hoods were turning a blind eye. This town, Vider, Texas, at one time... Vider, Texas. See, now my father was born and raised in Carthage, Texas. South. I believe it was known as the most racist city in the United States. It was a sundown town. They had a billboard that said, Person of color, don't let the sun set on your <laughs> See, so if they didn't want to offend you, they didn't want to say, Nigger, don't. <laughs> they said, Person of color, don't let the sun set on your black ass. They let you know what happened after sundown. You know, while the sun's up, person of color. When the sun go down, get his black ass. Anyone who is not white knew you don't drive through fighter after dark. Even truckers would avoid that route if they weren't 100% certain that they could, could make it through before sundown because God forbid they had blowout or some sort of uh, mechanical trouble. Be in need. in a black neighborhood in need of help or a black person in a white neighborhood in need of help? Would you rather be a white person in a black neighborhood in need of help or a black person in a white neighborhood in need of help? <laughs> Nobody's on that side. I think the classroom was predominantly Caucasian. But everybody left that side. Nobody would want to be a melanin rich man in need of help in a Caucasian neighborhood. And Biden Texas after dark because they had citizens and police officers patrolling and looking for them. If you were in Biden Texas after dark and you were not white, you probably wouldn't be seen again. Or at least you wouldn't be seen in one piece. And that was legal, ladies and gentlemen. They had license to do that. So once again, just like slavery, everything that's legal isn't right. And everything that's illegal isn't wrong. It's hard for me to talk about the library. The library. It's on t-shirt. <laughs> I'm sorry. She looked like she lost some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. It looked like ancestors was like, bitch, tell the truth. Tell the truth, tell the truth, tell the truth, tell the truth, tell the truth. Bitch, 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 tell, tell, tell the truth, 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 truth. 
Tell the truth, bitch, 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 Tell the truth, 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 bitch. Burks with rifles across it that said, Damn. People of color, we're ready for you. The Klan marched down Main Street openly and with full support. Of whom President 45 is part of. Well, shit, I ain't gonna say he's a part of it, but let me say this. His mentor was the Grand Cyclops of the KKK, and of which he gave uh, a eulogy at the man, at the, at the uh, beast's funeral. Municipalities and the people until 1985. 1985. You guys, when I was Damn, man, let me take that. And with full support of the municipal march, we're ready for you. The Klan marched down Main Street openly and with full support of the municipalities and the people until 1985. 1985. You guys, when I watched that video, I'm not going to lie, it gave me chills. So you guys see when black people are talking about generational trauma and when black people are talking about what they endured, people don't understand. Just remember that, all right? You know what I mean? Because we know that there's a, a division, a divide and conquer uh, <laughs> package that they uh, put out to every uh, immigrant that comes to the U.S. So just remember that when you uh, when you hear others of your community, those of immigration. Right, say, you know, they're lazy. You know, how come we're able to get all this and they don't get nothing? It's the divide and conquer package. How come the foreigners that look like you in your country have more, get more than you? It's the divide and conquer package. Hey, man, it's the 13th one. The laughing Buddha. One of one. One of them ones. Often imitated, never duplicated, but most loved, most respected. Marquez the Great.